This is Midnight Sun. Today we are launching a second format, a new section, we could also say, within Midnight Sun. We are going to call this new format Midnight Sun Tribes. And the reason is that uh, we have finally launched this movement, this campaign that uh, we have called Rainbow Warriors 3.5. Now it's really a reality, it's uh, underway. And we thought that uh, together with the usual Midnight Sun programs, thematic programs where we talk about uh, certain aspects or topics related to the construction of a sustainable civilization and the fight against climate change and uh, the mass extinction of species. We thought uh, we could make other different programs, uh, in this case, including video. This would be shorter programs in which we would talk about the tribes uh, which are being created in the Rainbow Warriors 3.5 movement that we are launching in various uh, countries around the world. A few days ago, we launched the Spanish section of RW 3.5 and soon we will be launching the English section. Last Friday, the 8th of, of March, uh, we had the first meeting of the Spanish group and that's what we wanted to talk about today. If you think that this program does not concern you, you are probably wrong. Because this program can very well change your life and improve many aspects of your existence. Simply by changing your worldview, your life will improve. And that is what we are going to do here. Midnight Sun is a radio program that seeks to foster the process of social transformation needed to address the social, climate and extinction emergency we are now entering. Our goal, that you put your talents at the service of the Earth and the terrestrial community of life. Join the tribe at the Midnight Sun, the social media hub of the Rainbow Warriors 3.5 global campaign. Midnight Sun. If you are listening to us, you are already part of the tribe. We were saying that on Friday, 8th of March, uh, we had uh, the first Spanish meeting of Rainbow Warriors 3.5. We were almost 30 people, people from both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. We had in the group from people in their early 20s to people over 70 years old in what is going to be the seed of uh, RW 3.5. And the general feeling we were left with at the end of the meeting was a sense of hope, you know, radical hope, saying goodbye with a lot of smiles. I honestly believe that the tribe that is now beginning to form will be a beautiful experience for all participants, as we try to mitigate the damage of the climate and extinction crisis, and as we begin to build a more just and sustainable civilization from our human smallness. We began the meeting with an attunement, a very short meditation, led by Marta Ventura, who is a Zen meditation and Qigong instructor. The aim was simply for everyone to close their eyes, to connect from the heart with the earth, in line with the deep ecology movement advocated by the Norwegian philosopher Arne Nes from the University of Oslo. Deep ecology will be discussed in RW 3.5 as it is a topic that will be part of the educational program of our campaign. After this attunement, we shared, shared with the group a proposal for the vision, mission 
and purpose of this new movement. Specifically, we set it out as follows. The vision, which is the mental image of where we want to go, the future we imagine, would be set out in this way. Where we are going, our vision is that of a humanity in harmony among its ethnic groups and cultures, as well as with the earth and her community of life, in a world where non-violence and social and ecological justice prevail, on a planet which will be stable again once the climate and extinction crisis has been overcome. The mission would be what we are going to do. So in the face of the current global crisis, uh, systemic crisis, the mission would be would be the, the what. Uh, in the face of the current global systemic crisis, we intend to put our talents, skills and virtues at the service of the earth and her community of life, organizing ourselves into small, autonomous and independent affinity groups to act in the world from a systemic, ecocentric and organicist worldview within the framework of the ethical principles and values of the Earth Charter. And the purpose of Rainbow Warriors 3.5, why uh, this, is, this is the why we do this, uh, we have defined it as follows. The purpose is the why. Our aim is to complement the work of institutions, social movements and NGOs in the face of the climate and extinction crisis with the mobilization of those sectors of civil society that do not find a place in civil disobedience or other forms of social struggle in order to reach the critical mass of, of 3.5% of the population mobilized in a peak event. A warranty of success for any campaign according to the research of Erika Chenoweth from Harvard University. This is how we have begun to define our movement, this campaign. Next, Amorita Salas Westphal, who is the coordinator of the Air Charter in the state of Durango in Mexico, explained to the group what the Earth Charter is. Uh, the most inclusive educational document ever produced. And we say the most inclusive because thousands of people from many different cultures and ethnicities were involved in, the, in its drafting. In this way, the Air Charter becomes a document of principles and values shared by almost all humanity. Then we were talking about uh, why we have uh, given the name Rainbow Warriors to this movement. Why warrior, Warriors? Because some people don't understand the use of this uh, word when it is a non-violent uh, movement. The reason is that uh, we believe that uh, what Carl Gustav Jung called the collective unconscious, as well as what uh, he defined as archetypes, have a powerful influence on the human species. And one of the archetypes of the human uh, collective in unconscious is the archetype of the warrior, a structure of the psyche that symbolizes action and courage, which is indeed what we need right now to overcome the climate and extinction crisis uh, we are facing. We need courage and we need to, to take action. Hence, the use of this archetype, which was also used by the environmental organization Greenpeace in their early years, uh, with great uh, success, uh, seems to be very appropriate. We were also talking about the myths of the future, future theory. A uh, development I outlined in uh, 2016 in my PhD research and further developed in 2020. 
This theory is currently being taught at the University of Edinburgh in a postgraduate course. In this regard, we were talking about the power of myths and archetypes, the power of traditional narratives. Next, we made uh, known that in RW 3.5 we are going to have a strong educational uh, aspect. That we are going to do many educational activities completely free of church to begin with. Some of the lines of educational work that we are considering initially would be related to the development of a new worldview given that the modernist worldview is the is the, the one that has brought that has brought us to the current climate and extinction crisis we need uh, to collectively develop a complex systems ecocentric not anthropocentric organicist and non-mechanistic worldview we will explain of all this uh, in detail in the time to come we also intend to impart courses and workshops on nonviolent communication. And we are going to transmit and implement within the collective the principles of sociocracy, which is a form of governance that is more perfect, inclusive and participatory than the current democracy. A form of collective functioning where consensus is sought, uh, where there are no winners or, and losers in voting, as is the case with the current democracy. It is very likely to be the way human beings will govern ourselves at the end of this century. Perhaps so it would be a good idea to start learning how it works. And we will also include in the educational program, transpersonal education. The work on consciousness and on self-knowledge, above all. Finally, we were uh, outlining the inner structure of the movement with an overall organizational structure below the tribes and the council of the tribes, because it is the tribes which are important. What we have called tribes are affinity groups, groups of friends or family members with whom we have an intense affinity. They can be two people, they can be three, four, five, twenty, fifty people. Uh, we have already started to create tribes and it should be noted uh, that there can be several tribes in the same city. As we have already explained, in previous programs. We were also talking at the meeting about our most immediate uh, needs. We said that we needed to create, to start with, a management or coordination group. And 50 people volunteered for this work. We were talking about uh, how we were going to communicate on the networks. And it was decided that the, we would communicate through Telegram uh, because it allows us to store the files we put there and people who are included uh, later can have access to those files, which is not possible uh, on WhatsApp. Another of the needs uh, we raised was to create a liaison group because there is going to be an English group and a Spanish group and it is clear that we will uh, have to be interconnected as, uh, so as not to build two campaigns or two movements, two different movements. Three people who are fluent in both languages uh, presented themselves to serve a liaison between the two groups, to take part in the organizational work of both groups. However, uh, we are convinced that we will have even more people to work on this task. Later, uh, John Mario Díaz from Radio Chacaruna in, in Medellín, in Colombia, uh, launched the first proposal for a possible work, uh, joint work, on RW 3.5. If anyone wanted 
to participate. There is nothing mandatory here. Uh, you can participate in the proposals or not. John Mario invited people to par participate in Singing for Water, Canto al Agua, Singing for Water, a campaign that uh, based on Masaru Emoto's findings on changes in water molecules induced by consciousness will take place in a number of countries around the world. This will take place on 22nd March, that is, in the, uh, on the International Day of Water. And we leave you the links in the credits of the program. The Earth is magnificent, an ecosystem of diversity with one shared destiny. But our home is in crisis and we know we have to act. Yet knowing is not enough. We don't need a new agenda. We need a new mindset. This is Earth Charter, a document with 16 principles turning conscience into action. Our commitment to a just, sustainable and peaceful world. With these foundations, we can all get to work. To the oceans, the mountains and the forests. To our homes, our schools and businesses. Powered by a growing global movement, working together to make all life on Earth thrive. Founded by visionaries 20 years ago. We invite the visionaries of today to join us. To show the future that we're never giving up. We know you're ready. Now, let's get to work. We continue with uh, what happened uh, at the Rainbow Warriors 3.5 meeting, Spanish meeting, last Friday, specifically with the final part of the meeting, when we divided the participants into six groups of four or five people, uh, each one, and asked them, in addition to getting to know each other, to share their dreams and hopes for the future. In our struggle against the climate and extinction crisis and in the building of a new sustainable and just civilization. The participants of the meeting, after sharing with each other in the, in the groups, we all met again and the spokespersons of each group shared the dreams and hopes expressed in their respective meetings. In closing, Elena Karpaba, a Belarusian citizen and professor at the University of Granada in Spain, who is working with the Earth Stories Collection in her educational work, became a storyteller for a few minutes and ended the meeting with a story from Indian Buddhism, which perfectly illustrates the complex systems worldview which uh, we intend to convey a uh, story known as Indra's Net. As we have been saying, tribes have been already started to form within RW 3.5. The first tribe that has been formed has been made in Mexico, specifically in a place called El Tasajillo. And it is a tribe of two people, a couple who are preserving a semi desertic place uh, in the state of uh, Durango, with a great biodiversity, also offering educational activities and immersion in nature. If you want to know what uh, they are doing, you can find you can find them on Facebook uh, under the name El Tasajillo. You have the uh, the name in the credits of this uh, program. Uh, and they speak English, so you won't have any problems to communicate. We leave you the link below. Uh, but affinity groups, that is tribes, are also beginning to take shape in Barcelona and Seville in Spain, also in Medellin in Colombia, and elsewhere in La Latin America, in Abiyala, as the original peoples 
call it. In other words, affinity groups are being created that intend to put their talents at the service of the earth and the terrestrial community of life. Uh, we need to invite you. Please join the Rainbow Warriors 3.5 campaign. It is simply a matter of putting your talents, your skills, at the service of the earth. Create a group. It can be friends, it can be family, it can be co-workers, colleagues, it can be tribes of two people or tribes of 50. Uh, we can even accept one person tribes if you don't have anyone to share this job with. You can put your talents to work to mitigate climate change and mass extinction of species. On the one hand, or work to build a more just and sustainable civilization on the other. And you can make a tribe out of anything you can think of. A tribe can be devoted to planting trees or it can be devoted to making graphics to spread on the internet, to spread, for example, the new worldview through uh, memes or infographics, it is about doing what you are good at doing. Other people may be involved in making vegetable, vegetable gardens or allotments, gardens in the city, for example, or on empty plots uh, of land, which are even disturbing to the eye. This would be a way of reclaiming nature from human civilization. Storytelling groups can be made to tell Earth stories. Those myths, legends and folk tales specifically selected to transmit that systemic, ecocentric, organicist, integrating worldview. There can be educational tribes, affinity groups for environmental education or human rights education or education in criti critical thinking or in non-violent communication and so. Perhaps groups of uh, doctors can be formed to perform interventions in the third world in villages that do not have access to health care or to simple uh, surgical operations that can change lives. Tribes of volunteers can be formed uh, to assist forest uh, firefighters or emergency disaster services. There is a lot uh, a lot of things that can be done, in short. Ultimately, we invite you to make an affinity group, a group with which uh, you feel a heartfelt connection. We invite you to form a tribe. We invite you to follow us in, in, in this program and to be part of Rainbow Warriors 3.5, to be part of the tribe of all colors. Because in the end, you are going to see the world in a way that you would never have imagined. You are going to see the world in a way that is going to make your life much more harmonious and satisfying. In a world facing an uncharted future, because of the planetary emergency we are now entering, we need voices to help sow the radical hope that we can build an alternative tomorrow. Become a patron and for $1 a month, join our tribe. Find us on Patreon as Midnight Sun. We are not going to go on much longer. We are simply going to make some small conclusions of what we have talked about. We have talked about the fact that we had the first Spanish meeting of Raymond Warriors 3.5, that we have started to build the tribe of all colors. We have told you, we have uh, detailed the contents, the things that we were talking about in this meeting, and the first tribes have already been formed, the first affinity groups, and we have already formed a first coordination group to start working, 
to start building this huge organization that, that we think RW 3.5 is going to be. And we have also tried to encourage you here to form tribes, to form affinity groups, to put your talents and skills at the service of the earth. And to finish, I would like to remind you that uh, although it may seem that these programs and Rainbow Warriors 3.5 will not benefit your ego very much, you should bear in mind that the most direct way to improve your life is to improve the world around you. Improving the lives of humans and the more than humans who populate the world in which you live. In this way, you will also improve your life. The time for thinking only of oneself has passed. The time of the saying every man for himself has passed. The time has passed and will not return. We are increasingly aware that we are all in the same boat, that we, humans, and more than humans, all depend on each other, and that the well-being of all will be our own well-being as well. So, if we want to take care of our lives, we will have to take care of our world and all the beings we share it with. To avoid the social collapse we are heading towards because of the climate and extinction emergency, we are going to need 3.5% of the population to take action. That means we need help, lots of help. If you have an independent radio station and want to share Midnight Sun's radio programs on it, find out more at midnightsun.com.es slash broadcasting. Midnight Sun, the social media hub of the Rainbow Warriors 3.5 global campaign. We bid Midnight Sun farewell here, but not before thanking Kim Robertson, the Celtic uh, harp player, who has generously lent us the program's thin tune. Thanks to John Mario Diaz and Radio Chacaruna, the first independent radio station which is broadcasting this program. Our intention is to have the program broadcast on, on as many independent radio stations as possible around the world in order to spread the message and create tribes all around the world. Thanks to Blake Kendall for lending us his voice in this program and to Marta Ventura because she is the soul of, of Midnight Sun. Enjoy your week. May the sun shine on all of us at midnight. Sol de medianoche.